Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sims 4 news video. Today we have a new patch update coming out and I know normally I don't post on Tuesdays, but this is an exception because I wanted to go over the new features that are expected in the base game update today. If you're new to the Sims, I wanted to explain to you how this kind of works. Basically on Thursday, we have a pack coming out called For Rent, which I feel like every Simmer knows by now. But on Tuesdays, we always get a patch update to kind of clear up some laundry day updates, you know, some issues that we've been having in the Sims for a little bit. They try and clean up bugs and get the game as ready as it can be for the new pack coming out on Thursday. But we also get some new features as well with the pack that are for base game updates. So if you're not buying the expansion pack, you still get these updates in your base game, you know, for you to enjoy these features. So let's get into the new features within The Sims. I gotta say there's one that I am most, there is one that I'm just so thrilled about that we finally are getting in The Sims. This should have been an update a long time ago, but I'll take it now. So let's dive in. Of course, I took us back to The Sims community because it is my favorite website for all Sims 4 news and just anything in general when it comes to the Sims. They made a lovely update preview for us to go over so I figured we would go over these new features. So of course here is what to expect within the Sims 4 update today. We're just again hours away less than a couple hours now from this patch update coming and it is fixing several highly requested bugs within the Sims which is mainly what these patch updates are here to do but also add in those base game features that we've seen you know, within the pack itself. So this is the first one I'm excited about. And I think all Simmers can agree that this is literally a long time waiting for almost 10 years in our Sims 4 games. We have had to witness Sims go from the kitchen to the bathroom to do their dishes. Or my favorite is when they go from the bathroom to the kitchen to wash their hands. Now you can set the sink type. So you can either click for all for anything if you wanted to. You could click just for the kitchen. So it's the kitchen sink and then the bathroom bathroom sink. This is literally my favorite thing in this entire patch update. You know, they could have just added this and I would have been thrilled with it. But basically now you'll be able to give a preference to your Sims 4 sinks so that it will help your Sims finally decide where they should wash their hands. You know, you would think that the Sims would have came out with this a long time ago, but at least we're getting it now. I'm not going to complain. I'm just thrilled that my Sims will no longer have to make the tough decision whether they're gonna wash their hands in the bathroom where they currently are or walk to the, the kitchen and wash their hands. So glad to see that this has been fixed. The next thing we got was the Schmapple kitchen set upgrade. We got some more swatches for our kitchen set. They talked about this in the gameplay live stream where they went over all the different swatches that will be coming with this kitchen set upgrade. As you all know, this kitchen set has been with The Sims for a while now. I can't even, I think is a base game kitchen set because it, it's been there since you know the sims 4 was created but finally we're getting some upgrades we're getting some more color swatches so hopefully you guys will make your you will be able to make your kitchens perfectly match to wherever you know style you're doing it but very happy to see that it is getting some love because i will say they only had a very few um set of color swatches so i'm curious to see all the swatches that were added within this set upgrade the next thing is switched control to household so do you ever wish to play sims that live right across the street of your your loaded household. Now you can with the switch control to this household. I'm sure there's been, I feel like there's been mods that cover this and let you switch control to the household. I know MCC Command Center does it because you can go in that little menu and click switch control, but it is nice now to have it base game. So you don't have to worry about having a mod in your game if you don't like to play with mods. I get that. Now you can finally do it, you know, through, you know, clicking on the door and just clicking switch control to this household and it will load you in to that other household. It's perfect for if you have like a legacy game or if you just have a big family within The Sims, you can kind of switch control, you know, from that, the household you're playing to the next household. So that kind of makes it a lot easier for those big legacy challenge, not even legacy challenge, but those big households that you guys have in The Sims. Some of you guys have, you know, households in every Sim 4 world. That's how big your, you know, family trees are, but I'm not complaining. I would, I would want that too. The next thing is take off shoes coming to base game. We had this in Snowy Escape. So if you're sitting here going, we already have that, Caroline. No, we don't. We have it in Snowy Escape because that pack was inspired by, um, I'm pretty sure, Japanese culture. It's a big thing to take your shoes off. I really liked the idea of it. So I'm glad they're bringing it to base game because I'm a big 
per I don't like to wear shoes indoors. So it feels wrong to me in a lot of ways. So I'm glad that they're bringing this to um, base game. Basically, I think you buy like a little sign or something like that and your Sims will be able to take it off. You can set it to them keeping it on, but I don't know. I prefer no shoes. You know, I just, you bring all that dirt inside and then you got to clean all the dirt off. It just doesn't make sense. But anyways, the next thing we have is new cast feminine clothing. I don't know if I can pull up. Here is an image of it. So it looks quite nice. I like the little like, it's a little like pantsuit with a with a jacket, kind of like a romper thing. Here's another one as well for a different swatch, but we are getting that for base game. I'm not sure why they're adding that, but you know what? I'll take it. The more the merrier. So that is your base game update patch update preview. Again, it is 1045. Not sure when this video will get out, but hopefully soon because that is your patch day update. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what are some of your favorite updates coming to this new patch update. I'm sure the number one will be that kitchen. I don't know why it took so long for us to get it. But again, like I said earlier, I'm not complaining about it. I'm glad they fixed it. I know there was a mod that basically let you set the kitchen sink in the bathroom, like all the sink preferences. But now you don't need that mod anymore. You got the base game update coming. But I'm super excited for this because it means that we're one step closer to the four rent pack coming out and one step closer for me finally being able to property manage the Sims and I cannot wait to see how my property ownership skills will be because I feel like it, it won't be too difficult. I only say that because if you are smart and don't put 100 units on your Sims 4 lot, you should be fine. But anyways, if you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Again, leave a like and comment your favorite patch update feature. And before I forget, if you've been following me for a while, you already probably know what I'm about to say, but for those, if you're just tuning in to this video, please make sure to take out your mod folder when updating the patch update and back up your saves as well. I would hate for anything to happen to your save files because that is coming to the base game. And with, with this patch update and the four rent pack coming out, a lot of mods will get broken and just will not work with your game. And it's very important that you don't keep broken mods in your Sims 4 game because it will cause issues. And we don't want that, you know, especially within your save files. So just make sure you're updating your mods. Give the mod creators some time to update the mods and be patient. But with having said that, I will see you all on Wednesday for another mod review. Mm -hmm.